action this April. We're talking baseball. The pandemic, of course, forced the team to sit on the sidelines for more than a year. Aviators kick off the new season April 8th in Round Rock, Texas. They'll play at home in Summerlin a week later against the Reno Aces. Team says it does have plans to have fans in the stands and will work with local authorities to determine at what capacity. Let's stay with sports here. Las Vegas welcoming a new Super Bowl champ back home. Kendall Kim got to speak with Buccaneers rookie John Mulshan and joins us now with this story starting right here in Southern Nevada. This is exciting. So exciting, and he's back home here in Las Vegas. Now, the Mulshan family tells me that they actually moved here to Las Vegas to take advantage of the weather, allowing JP, as they lovingly call him, to play football each and every season. Well, as you can see, that investment into his future, into this community, definitely paving the way, starting here over at Faith Lutheran High School, where we're taking you live, that legacy really taking flight. This is where Mulshan's jersey is actually now retired, following a two-time Nevada All-State selection and an A1 Lineman of the Year Award. Now, after graduating from Faith Lutheran, he upgraded to college football, playing for Boise State. Mulshawn then went on to sign as a free agent with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after the 2020 draft. And as we all know, this rookie season ended with a Super Bowl championship. I just, uh, I, I love being raised here and just how much I've grown uh, starting at Faith Lutheran and just the, the program that has built me to be the man I am today. Uh, I'm just so blessed to be around just great people. In my Mulshan says his favorite part about being back home is getting to see his family. With strict COVID guidelines in the NFL, he didn't get much in-person contact with his loved ones this year. His parents were able to watch the Super Bowl in all of his games this past season at home here in Las Vegas. And we want to thank them not only for their time, but also for being viewers here of our newscast with News 3 and the CW Las Vegas and raising a wonderful man representing our community on the national stage, winning that Super Bowl championship. For now, they're reporting live this morning Kendall Kim the CW Las um, Vegas gosh Kendall that's so cool coming home with a Super Bowl ring he's kind of set the bar now <laughs> rookie yeah. season right <laughs> thank you oh, absolutely. a group of veterans have something new to keep them warm find out who came up with the idea after the break